A state representative files a complaint against Maine's chief medical examiner over a job wanted ad that he's calling a sick joke. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Cindy Williams. Dr. Mark Flomenbaum has been the subject of intense scrutiny this year after he changed his opinion in a high profile murder case, prompting a judge to declare a mistrial. Now a member of the legislature's Judiciary Committee has filed yet another complaint based on a tip he got last night. New Center Maine's Beth Brogan has the story. It was this job posting from 2017 that led a Midcoast legislator on Thursday to file a complaint with Maine Attorney General Aaron Frey about Chief Medical Examiner Mark Flomenbaum. It was the third complaint he's filed this year about the same man. Wednesday night, Representative Jeffrey Evangelos, an independent legislator from Friendship, received a tip pointing him to a 2017 job posting for a deputy chief medical examiner in Maine, a posting Evangelos described as shocking and sick content. It's, it's the only way I can describe it. Whoever wrote this ad, if it is legitimate, it, it, is, it is sick. And, it, uh, and I have a copy of it here, but it, uh, it, it, it makes jokes and references, jokes about uh, decomposed bodies of Mainers. It makes reference to the fact that um, they're trying to sell the Maine as a great destination to come and work. The ad first touts what you usually find in a job posting, a winter mecca for skiers and snowmobilers, but then translates that to being a really short season of decomposed bodies. Another selling point noted that our vast waterways meant that many bodies would float to New Hampshire or Canada. Anytime uh, a family loses somebody and, th and that deceased person uh, is subject to the findings of the medical examiner's office, here we have uh, the professionals running that agency making jokes about deceased individuals. After speaking with Evangelos, New Center Maine spoke with Nicole Sacra in the office of Maine Attorney General Aaron Frey, who confirmed that the ad was legitimate and posted by the state. Frey's office declined to provide copies of Evangelos' complaints, citing a personnel matter, but Evangelos says his first complaint followed reports in the Portland Press-Herald about Flomenbaum's private consulting business and concerns that he was engaging in private business on state time. He subsequently filed a complaint about cases Flomenbaum consulted on in different states that Evangelos says have demolished his credibility, with repercussions for cases in Maine. Flomenbaum was fired from his position as chief medical examiner in Massachusetts after fundamental operational and administrative failures, including a missing body. During a 2016 manslaughter case in Connecticut, a judge instructed a jury to disregard his expert testimony as not credible. The Attorney General for the State of Connecticut subsequently wrote to Janet Mills, then the Maine Attorney General and now Governor, warning her of Flomenbaum's diminished credibility. His credibility got demolished in this case. Um, Maine criminal defense lawyers uh, will become aware of this and uh, uh, consequently um, they will be making motions in court to uh, question the, the veracity of his testimony. Most recently, a Bangor Daily News story called into question Flomenbaum's findings that a man who died while hiking the Appalachian Trail had been drinking. Forensic experts hired by the family who said the man was diabetic and the newspaper said that detectable alcohol is created as a body decomposes. Evangelos says, however, that any disciplinary action is up to the governor and the attorney general. In Augusta, Beth Brogan, New Center, Maine. And Representative Evangelos says he's been assured by Attorney General Fry that the investigation into his complaints is nearly complete. Calls and emails to Flomenbaum's office today were not returned.